But yeah, with that. Wait, do we really? want him to interview? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, what's up everyone? Alrighty everybody, so I have Ido, the winner. And I have Sedgehog. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing alright. I'm very happy because uh, I need to pay my rent. To, if I didn't win, to, I wasn't going to be able to pay my rent. To Nitro? Yes. Have you ever considered getting an actual job? I could get a job, but I don't want to. So you're doing this instead? Yes. To, to get your rent. Alrighty. I like it. How much did you make? 280 for singles and a little bit more for doubles. Alrighty. So that looks like it's going to be the Ido's rent money, so he's going to live to stay in San Diego uh, a little bit longer. Yes. <laughs> another month. Yeah. So uh, let's go through uh, doubles first. Uh -huh. So uh, you made it all the way to yes. Grand. Yes. Uh, I was shocked. Shocked that uh, Nijin was so ass that I couldn't carry him. Despite me totally totally carrying the shit out of him. It, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to carry him. In, in Grand's, we went, his cloud was so, so bad. I asked him to go Sheik because that way he couldn't randomly die because when you're Sheik, you have a good recovery. So you're not just gonna get you know randomly shit on. And it wasn't enough, Ryder. Oh, I, I was in shock. And I know that you always say this, but it seems like every time you play doubles, your your partner chokes. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter who it is, but whoever teams with me is just not playing their best that day. It's very sad. I don't mm -hmm. know what to do about it. All right. I was going. I, I couldn't do with Meta Knight. Meta Knight is not a carry character in doubles because he needs like room to do his combos and you can interrupt him very easily but box he can just spam the shit out of up air and up tilt yeah and, you were doing and he that he just a lot. does a ton of damage and yeah. you can't really stop it so that's what i was doing mm -hmm. and it still wasn't enough despite me obliterating ic and ac we still lost because nigel did nothing that's what happened Alrighty. yes all right good to know that all right let's talk about your singles bracket a little bit okay they didn't drop a set at all i was very impressed by a link main i played i don't know who it was some some random lick main was so good I almost lost it wasn't it wasn't like 2-1 but it was 2-0 it was a close 2-0 he was such a good link main and um, I almost lost to Icy but for some reason when I'm about to lose I can like feel money like, slipping out of the palms of my hand mm -hmm. and uh, start start to play with the fire you know yeah uh, I want to say people say it's like angry item were you getting were you getting mad a little bit in that mad? no I don't get mad are you sure? I just have to think about what I'm playing for, you know? What am I playing for? Okay, so did you just like forget your motivation? Yes. Like halfway through that? You know, set? sometimes I'm just sitting there, the controller in my hand, I'm, you know, I'm pressing, pressing buttons. But but what are you really here for, Sedgehog? You have to ask yourself that question. And well, then, I'm, well, I'm here because I like this game. We have different reasons, you and I. All right. Yes. So, so you don't like this game, is what you're oh, telling me. No, I think this game's great. You know, you just can't, uh, you can't be playing it all the time, man. You know, for fun. Well, I mean, you you have these waves of you just show up for a lot and then you just don't show up. Uh, the ever, waves are then... are when I'm broke and then when I have <laughs> money. When I have money, I'm just like, mm, I could be home right now. You know. That's what happens. All righty. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they had a close set with uh, IC and semis, and then yeah, uh, I realized I needed the money. Yeah, so I stepped up my game, you know, and then that just the old one too. Just uh, carried through. Yeah, in, against K9, both sets. Yeah, I think in the first set, we were both playing really bad. I was actually shocked at how bad the level of play was in the first like three games, and then on game four, I started playing well, and he like didn't pick it up the whole time. So what happened? Yeah, usually he plays a lot better. Was that the? It's been a while since you two have played, right? It's been a while, yes. Yeah, it was like Evo last year, I think? It was last something, year? something like that. Yeah. yeah. And you took uh, you took the set then too, right? Pretty yeah, sure. I, I, did I think that was like your, one of your few pop-offs I've seen you do. Uh, I didn't even really want to pop off. I just, I just, you know, it was like a thing to do. Because Kanon always pops off versus me, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to fucking pop off against him, you know? Like counter pop-off. What's up, Devo? Alrighty, Evo. and you know, I, I counter popped off, but I didn't really want to. I just, I just, it was like a thing to do. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Yeah. 
Alrighty. I, I kind of regret it because you know I wasn't really from the heart. Mm -hmm. I just I just popped off because he did it to me. Okay. I wanted like revenge pop off. <laughs> Alrighty. So um, if you. Okay. How about this Nairo Saga? Am I Do going to Nairo Saga? No, because I'm gonna fucking lose, and I don't want to lose money. You don't know that. I mean, I could win. Anything's possible. But you yeah, know. Uh, there's twenty thousand dollars there. Yeah. If you just think about that twenty thousand uh, dollars just sitting there, don't you I think mean, you? you I, would I have probably would lose though. So uh, that's why I'm not going. Okay. My Genji, my Genji's fucking hot fire falling. My Genji's ridiculous. What uh? What are you in Overwatch right now? Uh, I, I'm actually in anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like what, what rank are you? Uh, I dropped out of GM. Oh. Yeah. Alrighty. I decayed out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next season, I'm gonna try and play DPS. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. I, I heard that. I, he I heard born stories born how you just main. play Overwatch like till 8 a.m. and then sleep the rest of the uh, day. I mean, I'll just play with my friends. I mean, I actually stopped like playing on my main because all my friends were shit. So I had to play and play in an alt. Zero solo. Okay. <laughs> I just troll on that. Alrighty. You know, one one trick sim and shit. Alrighty. Body people. So. uh... In the general flow, when do you think you'll be broke again next time? Uh, very soon. I if I if I didn't win this tournament, I did not have rent money. So all this money is going toward my rent, and after that, I'll still be broke because I had no money at that point. Too. Okay. Do you like pay for? Do you like buy food, or do you like hope that someone will feed you because you're a uh, top player? Okay. Or? Here's what's happening. I'm staying. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, but I'm going to summer school. In San Diego, I actually live in NorCal, right? So mm -hmm. it's my first time in the summer here. So my school doesn't do summer housing. So I was like, yo, community, help me out. I need housing for the summer. This guy Nitro hit me up. And I, I thought I thought Nitro lived in like a like a like a fucking dorm with other like, you know, college people, right? He doesn't. He doesn't. He lives like with his family. It's hella <laughs> awkward because I'm just like squatting in his room playing Overwatch all day. And I'll come down, and everyone's speaking in Spanish and shit, and they're like, oh, you want taco? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. Alrighty. They feed me sometimes. Nitro's place is actually hella nice. He lives near the border at TJ. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So then we'll probably see you at a few more events really, really soon then. Yeah. Okay. And yes. then, uh, I mean, how would you feel about going to MSM? I don't know. It's hella far. Uh, how, how would I feel if I went all that way and lost? I'd probably be really sad. Well, I mean... I always think about, mm, what if I went and I didn't win anything? I would just be so sad. Does that it make you like, really that sad? Yeah, it would be. So it's like not even worth it. Alrighty. It's so like so the so risk. Alright, so you just stick to... Two hours isn't now? far? Fuck you, Slain. That, that, that's two hours one way. You know, it's four, four hours of my day. I don't want to invest that time. Even if you're not the one driving? Yeah, probably. Okay. Alrighty. So, anything else you'd like to say? You had a lot of fans in the chat. I do? Yeah. I don't know why. I didn't even really play this game anymore, except I go to the fucking locals. I probably could beat good people if I had enough chances, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. This game does, th does that sometimes. You just, uh, this game is way too short. You lose in like three minutes, uh, like a major, and you're just like, "Fuck, man! I just spent my whole weekend, and I just lost in like four minutes. It's crazy. It's mm -hmm. crazy that it can happen to people. It's not right." I mean, you, you do that to people all the time too, though. Yeah, but you know, you kind of think of yourself as the main character in your story. Okay. You're like, you're like I, I don't really think it. they have their own expectation, right? They, yeah. They know they're gonna fucking lose, but you know, <laughs> I actually, I actually feel like if I get lucky enough, I could beat anyone just by fucking dash attacking them at the right time. They could just die. They could just die when I hit them. So like, if that if that happens, I'm like, wow, I'm beating this hella good people, and you know, sometimes I don't hit it and I fucking lose, and it's really sad. Alrighty. This actually happened to uh, last Genesis to Abadongo game one. It was like a two stock, and I only took like sixty percent. I just bodied him, and I was like, "Oh shit, I could I could beat this guy." And then the next game, I didn't get to dash attack him, and he beat me. And that was, that was really sad. <laughs> Alrighty. It's unfortunate. This Ain't guy gets so lucky that I didn't dash attack him. <laughs> just think about what could have been. Anything else you like to say to? Anybody out Stream, there? Stream, you could beat anyone. And you could also lose to anyone. So don't get cocky. Fucking stream monsters. All right. I'll later, guys. All righty. Thanks for the interview, Ido. Have a good day, man.
Ido almost about to try and pay for our stream equipment. But anyways, yeah. So that is uh, No John's All Pain. Actually ended with an Ido interview of all things. I was not expecting that. But yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. And we'll be back next week with TSS. I don't even know what number we're at right now. But it is the only set.